What is up you guys? Welcome back to Average Bros Media. My name is Nick. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you're not already subscribed, think about hitting that subscribe button down below. Today we're gonna to be getting back on the Z, doing a little bit more work on that to get it ready to go out on the track. So a few weeks back, we installed the brides and the harnesses in the car, which are awesome. Love those seats, but getting in and out of the car with the stock steering wheel and the brides is kind of a pain. So we need to go ahead and get the quick release steering wheel installed into the car. And let me show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so for the steering wheel, I picked up a Grip Royal Knight steering wheel with the leather. It's all black, real simple looking. Like I was talking about when I put the seats in the car, I want kind of like an OEM plus type finish. Obviously an OEM car is not gonna come with a quick release steering wheel, but you know, something that doesn't stand out too much and scream that it's modified is kind of the style that I like in my cars and you know want to go with on the Z so we're using an NRG quick release which is already attached on there and then we've got the short hub that we need to mount on the the car once we take the stock steering wheel off and then the grip royal black horn button which will mount in the center there real clean just kind of a nice touch in there but before we do that let me show you guys how hard it is getting out of the car with a stock steering wheel so getting in and out of this car with the brides in there and the stock steering wheel is less than ideal Oh, so yeah, you're kind of squeezing in between the seat and the steering wheel, not ideal. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the stock steering wheel out of the car. And when I tried to do this a couple weeks ago, what ended up stopping was I didn't have the right tool. So there's two bolts on the side of the steering wheel that use this guy, which is a T30 tamper-proof Torx bolt. So if you've seen a Torx bit before, it's the same as that, but there's like a little knob in the center of it. So you need a special tool for that, and it took like a week and a half to get here. So I'm gonna set you guys on a tripod and then start pulling the stock steering wheel out. So one thing that I forgot about that is definitely important and the very first step you wanna do here is we need to disconnect the battery because we are dealing with the airbag. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that real quick and then I'll set you guys back on the tripod and we will get started. All right, we've got the negative side disconnected, so we are good to go. Okay, so right here on the side of the steering wheel, there's a little cap that you can just pop off with a flathead screwdriver. So just pop that off. And then we'll go ahead and use this guy that I was just talking about a minute ago and take that bolt out. And this is gonna release the airbag. All right, so that's one side. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in and grab the other side. Okay, so on the back of the airbag, there's these little plugs here, and as you can see, I got one undone, but all you have to do is get a little flathead, pop it under the back of this black piece here, to pop that up. Once that's popped up, this will come right out. And the airbag is off. Okay, so with the airbag out, I went ahead and broke loose this bolt here, which is a 19 mil, so that's loose there. My wheel came off the splines pretty easily, but if you notice it's really tight, you'll wanna leave this on, just kinda on the end there as you pull on it, so you don't like punch yourself in the face with the wheel. And then there is this here that you just have to take off of that. And then, so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this real quick. And we should be able to pull the wheel out. So I gotta go ahead and disconnect those. I'm gonna set the camera down real quick. Okay, so as you can see, the wheel is off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hub and start getting the hub installed back on there. And we should be working our way towards getting the quick release in. Okay, so this is what it looks like with everything off of the steering column. This is the new horn plug from NRG. So I'm gonna wanna wire all of this stuff through the hub here um, and get that on there. Quick thing for alignment, there's a little dot. Let's see if you can see it. There's a little dot right there. And what that is lined up with is kind of that little half moon thing on the back of the hub, which lines up with this. So that's the only thing you wanna make sure you get lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that all on and then I'll grab the camera again in a sec. Okay, so the hub is now on. We know everything's lined up because there's a little line off of this threaded steering column that lines up with the dot here and it is all sitting flush there. So that's all lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this nut back on and then we'll look at starting to wire this stuff up. Okay, so NRG sends you two resistors for the, each of the airbag things. So I've gotten those plugged in in there. I'm gonna tuck those back behind the hub here and then we'll start looking at getting the horn all connected. So with the airbag wires all tucked back here, the next thing we need to do is look at getting the quick release piece, this guy here, actually attached on there. And in order to do so, we need to attach the horn. So coming off the back of here is a male and female end, but you'll notice that there's only the uh, female end coming out of here. So obviously this female end is gonna attach to the male end on the back of this. And that's where this ring comes in. This ring is gonna act as our ground. So the female end on the back of the hub here, we'll attach to this and then we'll get everything mounted up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff connected and I'll show you guys what the finished piece looks like there. 
With all the wires tucked away, we can start to mount this up to it. And you'll notice there's a little dot like right above the NRG and that's gonna line up with that dot we talked about earlier there. And just be, you know, because of that as well, the NRG on the wheel is gonna line up with the one on the hub. So that's how you can kind of double check that everything's in the right place. I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in and then we'll look at getting the steering wheel attached so that we can pop it on there. So this guy is all on there, nice and tight. Each one of these is snug. So let's go ahead and hop out of the car. We'll get the quick release attached to the steering wheel and get this in here and see what it looks like. So now we have the quick release over here. So we're gonna wanna get the horn connected through the wheel, obviously. So the first step is there's this like little C-clip that has to go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down, pop that in there, get the wires run through the steering wheel, and we'll start getting this all put together. Okay, so we've got that ring in the quick release. We're gonna go ahead and set this on there. And then I'm going to connect the horn, get everything lined up, uh, and start screwing that together. And so for the Grip Royal horn, they sent the kind of adapters that go onto the NRG hub here. Now I was an idiot and accidentally attached this to the wrong one earlier on. And then when I was trying to get it off, it pulled that piece off. So I need to run to the hardware store and hope that they have the tools that I need just to kind of strip the wire back down and then either spread this clamp to put it back on or get another clamp like this. So I'm gonna run to the hardware store and hopefully have enough light when I get back to show you guys what it looks like. If not, I will show you in the morning. All right, we're back in business. Got the wire strippers and the female disconnect to replace the one that I accidentally ripped off there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that repaired and then we'll start getting the steering wheel in the car. I am losing light though, so I'll probably have to show you guys what that looks like in the morning. All right, so I got the repair made. New disconnect is on there. It's having trouble focusing, but it's on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the horn connected, mount the steering wheel. And then like I said, I'll probably show it to you guys in the morning once the lighting's a little bit better and show you guys what the full interior looks like now that it's like completely transformed with the seats, harnesses, steering wheel. It's looking real good. What's up you guys? It is the next morning. Lewis showed up last night, but like I said, I lost light last night, so I wasn't able to film after I got the steering wheel in the car, but I got it in, the horn functions. It looks great in the interior and like really completes the interior. I'm super happy with how the seat and the steering wheel like paired together. It, like you're super locked in and it's like so comfortable and way better than having the stock steering wheel in there. So let me show you guys real quick. All right, so there is the steering wheel. Looking super clean. Definitely happy with how it came out. Well, I'm super happy with how the steering wheel came out. Like I said, just completes the interior and definitely glad to have that installed. That was another one of those parts that had just been sitting for a while because I bought it for the 240, so it's nice to actually see it in a car. But because we just completed the interior, it's Sunday morning, I figured we'll go cruise some canyons, get the Z out. This will be the first time I've gotten to like really enjoy it on some like fun roads. And we're gonna head up to Angeles Crest Highway, which is like one of my favorite roads near here. Meet up with one of my friends who's trying to get some break-in miles done on his bike and enjoy the Z. So we'll probably grab some footage of the Z while we're up there as well and take you guys along for the ride. We're at the bottom of ACH, so we're gonna head up. I'll have Lou do some filming as we go up just so you guys can see what it looks like. And then we're gonna find a sick spot to film the car, take some photos. We'll show you guys that when we get there. Every time. Dude, the Z low-key rips though. Like, that was so much fun. We turned on some like Forza Horizon soundtrack, so I just literally felt like I was mobbing through the video game. But we're up here at the top towards like Angel's Crest, so found a six spot to shoot the car over here behind me. Bunch of Porsches and a BMW over here, so everyone's out for their Sunday cruise. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab some pictures and grab some video and throw together and edit for you guys.
So we just wrapped up shooting the car. I hope you guys enjoyed that edit. It looks absolutely unreal with the mountains in the background and it's super cool with like the tire marks on the road. So I think those turned out nice. I shot some cool photos to edit for you guys. But that is gonna wrap up this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm having an awesome time with the Z. It's super cool to get out and enjoy it. I'm glad it's running like it should be. And I am definitely looking forward to more mods and getting out on the track. But until next time, see you guys and peace out.